Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Really excited by today's beer. Um, I reviewed Windsor Knot, uh, Kate and Will's wedding beer by Windsor and Eaton Brewery last, last year. Uh, this year, Windsor and Eaton have a Jubilee beer for the Queen's 60th anniversary as the Queen. It's the Commonwealth Diamond Jubilee beer and it's called Treetops um, by Windsor and Eaton Brewery. Let me get it open, we'll give it a taste. And then I've been sent some paperwork through. I've had a bit of paperwork for this beer, so I want to read it out to you because it is quite interesting. So, but of course, as always on this channel, the beer comes first. There you go. Nice glassware by them as well. Okay, head is. Off white, quite a nice tight head there, dissipating quite quickly. The beer itself is black. There's a just a small hint of a redness to the beer, and if I just tilt the glass, you may just see it on the rim there. Just a, a slight. It's it's very slight, but a very slight red tinge to the beer, but otherwise it's black. Carbonation is rising quite nicely at the side of the glass. The beer itself is 4.8% ABV. So let's get a nose. Oh, oh wow. So much coffee in this beer. So much coffee. It's proper coffee as well. It's, it's proper roasted bean coffee. Dark chocolate malts in it as well. And there's something else, and I'll explain that in a moment, but we'll have a little taste. Cheers, everyone. The nose is large. The nose is quite big in the coffee. The taste is, you almost expect this big, huge hit of coffee. But I think that would be, a massive hit of coffee would probably be quite unpleasant. <clears throat> so what you're getting is balance. Sweet malt followed by bitter coffee and it's real coffee bean coffee <clears throat> there's, there's a flavour in here which I gotta be honest is new to me but in the beer it goes quite nice, it's a nice flavour Mouthfeel to the beer. It's a medium mouthfeel. It's quite refreshing. It's refreshing plus it leaves a little bit of silky, like a silky dryness on the inside of your mouth. It does coat your mouth. Okay, so this flavour. <clears throat> Treetops has been brewed to a classic style recipe to which we've added interesting African ingredients to produce a beer that celebrates this region of the Commonwealth and our historic brewing links with it, along with some standards such as ground coffee and vanilla. There are some more exotic brewing ingredients such as sorghum, millet and even toasted yams. So I think that flavour, which I'm not familiar with, because I've never tried toasted yams before, is the toasted yams. Now, the vanilla. I want to try and find the vanilla. The 
and it just sometimes it needs pointing out to you it's just lurking around in the background there's such a nice taste of coffee that it's one of them ones where you've got to think about that flavour of vanilla but it's definitely there okay next up then I want to show you this because there's African ingredients in here. There's African ingredients for a reason. Um, and that is this piece of paper here, which is on the 6th of February 1952, a princess fell asleep at treetops and awoke to find herself queen. Treetops is the beer. Now, treetops is in Africa. Hence the African ingredients. Treetops is the first of three beers specially brewed by the Windsor and Eaton Brewery to celebrate the Diamond Jubilee of Queen Elizabeth II. I think it's a really nice touch. A really nice touch. And it looks like we might have a couple more of their beers in the future to get in for the Jubilee. There's going to be three in total. This is one of three. Okay. Um, I'm about ready to give this a rating. Mmm, just got a waft of hops in as well. Oh yeah. A slightly fruity nose end of that beer. All in all, the fruitiness and the taste, the hints, the very small hints of vanilla I'm getting, the, the really nice ground coffee flavours mixed with the the chocolate malts, the roasted malts, make this a very, very nice beer indeed. I would love to try this on cast. I reckon it is absolutely amazing. It's pretty special in the bottle. Pretty special. Special enough for me to give it a 9. 9 out of 10. It is a very, very good, solid British beer to celebrate the Queen's 60th anniversary as Queen. Um, thanks for watching another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Put your comments in the comments box, I'll always answer. Subscribe if you like and cheers!